Hi everybody, welcome back to my garden. This is Lori with Pollinator Garden Fun and I garden in upstate New York in zone 5A. And here's what's going on in the fall. These are my raspberry ripple zinnias and these turned out really great. I'm They're late blooming, but they just keep putting on a show with lots of different pink colors and then they fade to white. And I have them sort of ringing around my mums, which are not blooming yet but I definitely will be getting these next year. It's a nice pop of fall color. And a few stray blooms on the balloon flower. I do cut these back when they're blooming, after they're done blooming, and sometimes you get rewarded with late season blooms like these. It's always nice to see. The foliage on these is starting to tinge a little bit red. These plants do not like the cold at all, and we've had some cold nights, so they will fade fast. And here's my strawberry vanilla hydrangea. This looks great. I love how this red color stays for such a long time in the fall. This doesn't turn brown until probably into the winter. Uh, a lot of times I leave the blooms on this, I don't trim it back. This one doesn't seem to matter when I trim it back because it blooms on new growth. But these blooms are so pretty. And over here I have a little aster, which I don't, I don't remember planting this one, but I must have. But it's just a little small stub of a plant. But the bees like it, so I just leave it here. It's a little bit too shady for it, I think. That's why it's so small. And on into the back, this is my anemone, which is honorine, I believe, and along with some wild asters. Now, these are very, very tall plants. These are probably five and a half feet tall, and the asters are volunteers, and they just pop up all over the property, and I let them grow where they are. I used to pull them out before I knew better, <laughs> but now I leave them. And it's kind of nice they sort of support the anemone, or I guess the anemones support them because they do flop over a little bit. The pollinators really love the asters. And here's Autumn Joy Sedum. I have two different sedums. One is Autumn Joy and one is Autumn Fire. And right now I don't think I see much of a difference in the color of them. Here's the autumn fire. And I wanted to show you this. I was out here in the evening and it was cool and the bees are falling asleep. Now they will just stop wherever they are when they get too cold and they'll sleep for the night and they just start moving slower and slower. It's sort of like those videos where you see animals kind of nodding off and falling asleep and that's what the bees do. You can see how slow they're crawling. And they'll just sleep here until morning. This honeybee is totally knocked out. <laughs> He's done for the day. Good night, bees. Behind that is my blue stem goldenrod. This is the only one that has bloomed from those that I grew from seed this spring. I have some others, but they are not blooming yet, and they're in a different spot of the garden. And some cardinal flowers. The hummingbirds really went for these earlier, but the hummingbirds are gone now. And this is obedient plant. It's mostly done blooming, although it has some left on that, and the bumblebees really like this one. These were from the plant haul that I got about a month ago or so. I've just got them into the ground. And here's the hyssop as well. I have two of these that I put in. And over here, this is the false ageratum, also called blue bone set. And my goodness, this is huge. <laughs> this was supposed to be smaller than this. I think it was supposed to be about two feet and it's gotta be at least three feet wide. 
Again, I seem to have this issue with everything growing way taller than it's supposed to, but that's all right. And this is also really, really popular with the pollinators, although right now, since it's late, they're not there, so I can get in close for the flowers. It has a very loose, kind of airy feel to it. And then here's some more goldenrod. This is the white goldenrod. It's mostly done, although it's got some bloom still ready to open up on it. And I'll be showing sunny pollinator pictures at the end of this video so you can see how much they love these. There's a dill, the leftover dill. And just a quick look at my campfire coleus. This is a fantastic coleus, I have to say. And in fact, earlier today I had nipped it off uh, to pinch it back and it still looks great. <laughs> and it was even bigger than this earlier. And there's the theater velvet coleus. So now I will leave you with pollinator palooza. These are all the pollinators that visited during the sunny time of the day.